Hello and welcome to the series of Rapid Minor videos. My name is Dr. Marcus Hoffman and I'm a lecturer at the Institute of Technology Blanchardstown and also the principal investigator of this project funded by the Irish National Digital Learning Repository. The series of Rapid Minor videos was created in close collaboration with Ralph Klinkenberg and Dr. Ingo Merswa, the two founding members of Rapid Minor. More videos as well as additional material to some videos can be found at www.rapidminorresources.com. I would now like to introduce Ralph Klinkenberg, who will talk you through this tutorial. Welcome to Rapid Minor. This introductory video demonstrates how to read in flat files, so called comma separated value files, such as CSV file, um, can, for example, contain your data set with the data columns being separated by comma, semicolon, or white spaces, or other characters that you can uh, freely define. Let's start a new process to demonstrate how that works. First specify the repository and the file name of your process. And now you can proceed in different ways. You can even um, load a CSV file directly into the repository without such a process by just selecting the import functionality. The wizard will start. You select the directory with your file. You select the file. Just say next. And the system tries to automatically read in the CSV file. And um, well, if there are comments, you can specify the character that they start with, so everything after that character would be ignored in a line. Um, you can specify if the first row of the file should be used as the column names. In this case, these are not the column names, it's just another column, so I should deactivate that option. So now there are generic names being used. And um, then I can specify what the separating characters between the columns are. In that case, it works just fine. You could specify if it's a comma, a semicolon, doesn't work well here. A space doesn't work here either, or a tab. Or a regular expression, which may be um, either a comma in that case, or a semicolon followed by white spaces, arbitrarily many white spaces. This specification of regular expression follows this Java syntax for regular expressions and allows you to flexibly design alternative options for separating characters. If there are nominal attributes in the dataset, you can specify if quotes are used to mask nominal values and what character to use for them. You have comma separated values, so we can just stick to the comma separation and say next, because the preview looks fine now. The value type is also automatically detected. We can specify the decimal point character the digit grouping between the, the thousands, which, uh, well, the decimal character in Germany, for example, is a comma, while it is a dot in the United States. And the digit grouping is just vice versa. In the United States, it's a comma. In Germany, it's um, a point. Um, if you have date attributes, you can specify the date format. And if the automated type detection hasn't worked properly, you can also change the type. Okay, if you're satisfied, just say next. And um, now you could rename the columns, if you like. For example, if I know that the last column is a classification, I might call it class and tell the system to use this as a target variable, as the so-called label. Now I can specify data file name and the repository where to store it. And then I can finish. So now if I open the repository, there is the iris data set that I just loaded into the system. Now if I want to do the same in a process, just select the appropriate operator from the import, import data, CSV file, drag and drop, select which file to load. It's pretty much the same thing. Don't have comments, so I can deactivate the option. I don't have the names of the columns in the first row. I would have quotes. Column separator is just a comma, 
but this would also work. The regular expression allows comma followed by white spaces or semicolon followed by white spaces or just white spaces. And um, well, this looks like it might already work. So this looks good. For a nominal value for real values. This is what the metadata looks like. If you look at the data, it looks like the table has been properly read in. Of course, you could also retrieve the data set from the repository once you loaded it there. It's also very simple. Just mark it, drag and drop, and you have a retrieve, retrieving exactly that data set. So there's obviously many ways how you can import data and retrieve data. And similarly, there's ways to store such data. So like import, there's export. And you could of course also write, for example, a CSV file back out again. You just need to specify the file name. Run the process, and that's it. Process successfully executed, and um, the file has been written. So, thank you very much for your attention. For further information on RapidMiner, please go to www.rapidminerresources.com or www.rapid-i.com. If you are interested in upskilling, please go to www.itb.ie where you will find more information about our distance learning MSc in computing science, in business intelligence and data mining. Many thanks to the Irish National Digital Learning Repository for funding this video.